Justin Crawford here with Bold TV, and you guys may have seen our guest today, Robbie Jones, who has been in a variety of different shows, movies, acting as your game man, and we're so excited that you're here to talk about it with us. Comes from Sacramento, hometown. Yes, sir. But you're based in Los Angeles mm -hmm. now, and you came all the way to New York City just to see us, and we're Absolutely. so glad to have you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here, man. It's great. Totally. And most importantly for you, though, you're promoting American Dreamer. Yes. Right? You're with Jim Gaffigan, mm -hmm. which both of you guys are icons in terms of when, when people think of Hollywood movies, right, the casting process, I'm sure, is a beast. And so walk us through that. How did you get involved with American Dreamer? How was it pitched to you? And then now that it's unfolding, when, by the way, when will it be coming out? Uh, well, I'll start at the top. Right. Uh, the first time I, I was sent the script and I read the script and immediately I just gravitated to it. I was like, get me on phone with right. the director. I, I got to meet this guy. I got to find out who wrote this and why. And I love this character. I got to be involved. So uh, they wanted me to make a tape, made a tape. They loved the tape, wanted to talk to me immediately. And, uh, you know, long story short, I ended up getting the role and it was right. a blessing. And um, you know, it, it's kind of the process. Sometimes you have to I'd tape. Your, you have to tape, or somebody sure. has you come in, or they just offer you something. So this one was a taping process for me. Two, what do you kind of see in the future for yourself? I know. So you got this sure. really big gig with American Dreamer, mm -hmm. and so are you going to focus more on family and kind of see where the American Dreamer spotlight kind of takes your name for a little while, and maybe go to the next gig, or are you still working different types of opportunities in your life, or taking care of family only? What's going on? Well, it's always a balance. Um, I just shot a movie uh, in Fiji. Uh, it's called Fantasy Island. It's a reboot of Fantasy Island. It's coming out next year. Sure. And I brought my family with me. We were there for a month. Oh, nice. And uh, I was shooting in Toronto doing uh, DC's Titans. And that, that has just recently dropped a few days ago. So I've been taking my family with me and working. And so... The work-life balance has been great because... How does the wife and kid feel? They love it. My right? daughter's 17 months. I don't have to pay for her tickets yet. <laughs> right. You just carry her on. She can just... She's almost luggage. Right. That's okay. <laughs> She's fantastically beautiful, precious luggage. Luggage, right. <laughs> but she rides with us, and um, so she has a lot of stamps in her passport already. I'd say. And uh, I've been able to keep my family close to me while I'm working, so it's really been awesome. Wow, what yeah. does your family back home in Sacramento think of all these things that have happened to you since since basketball even, right? They so love that's it. huge. Already yeah. to start playing international basketball, but then mm. pivot into acting. Right. Your family must be always thinking, man, Robbie's a star child. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but <laughs> I, they're really excited. They're, that's I mean, great. They, they love when I have new projects, and they just, they've been always my biggest fans and biggest supporters. So I'm actually going to do a screening in Sacramento this coming week of American Dreamer just for my friends and family and people in Sacramento. So that thing is going to be packed out. I'm excited to bring the movie home and uh, show it to the family and fans and friends there. So Wow. Yeah, it's That's a, it's exciting. A, it's, it's a great like thing. Home away from home, right? Yeah. You had to be filming this entire thing and and that's a long hours long days away 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 from people right, right? And, and let alone the lifestyle that you've lived obviously all these years now you're going to take it back oh yeah the sack. it's great it's that's a, it's a great. great thing that's good when when before we wrap up here i want to really ask you about how you think people can find work-life balance really creating a career for yourself it seems as you've done that uh, and not only carrying the baby as luggage, right, as beautifully, <laughs> beautifully precious luggage, but what tricks and tips do you have for people who are trying to create a balance or a morphing balance where you kind of create a career for yourself that also blends your lifestyle into it? Actors are known for that. Sure. You know, your life is becoming an actor. You, like you'd said, people were scoping into you as a as camera folks and just trying to get a picture of you. That's your lifestyle as well because right. you're not on set when that happens. Sure. You're out to dinner. Right. And so all these years, what tips and tricks would you really have for people who are trying to get a really nice, fine balance of, you know, happy, healthy career life? I think it's all about perspective, honestly. Mm -hmm. Whatever is the, you have to decide what's most important to you. Is acting most important to you, or is your life and your life away from acting most important to you? And for me, my family and my my friends and you know my loved ones have always been top priority for mm -hmm. me. So it's more making acting and that way of making a living fit into them as opposed to making them fit into that. Yeah. So. It's all about perspective for me. For other people, it may be something different. Some people are 
dominated by their work life. And, right. you know, I would just encourage them to maybe take a different perspective and see what's really important. Because right. at the end of the day, without family, you know, you don't really have much. And so. it's kind of cool as an actor, though, Robbie, that you can take a lot of the stardom, I'd say, right? I'd say celebrity and fame, but we use that often. Mm. Stardom that comes with what you've done in your career and how you've made a living and lifestyle for yourself. And you're able to share that with family, mm. right? How, how's that been? You're able to say like, yes, I've been in these shows. Yes, I've been in these movies, <laughs> but most importantly, you can share those experiences, the red carpets, the premieres. Yeah. The, you're about to take that back home to SAC, yeah. right? That's cool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I've never been the guy to be like, yo, I did this. Right. I'm so cool. Let's I'm, share no, it. I'm just, yeah. I've always just been like, hey, this is happening. So I want all my loved ones to be a part of this sure. with me. I had a, uh, the last film that I had, uh, the Temptation movie, I, I brought. I had a Sacramento premiere. Had some celebrity friends of mine come out of and course. walk a red carpet in Sacramento and bring that home for people who had never seen that before. So that was really fun and a privilege to be able to do that. Right. And just little things like that just make it really, you, you know, massive it's fulfilling. When you start building that kind of career for yourself too, which uh, is awesome. Well, I mean, you know. think about it. You have all these friends and family that have been watching you this entire time. Sure. And then most importantly, the the fans, the people mm -hmm. who watch you off, you know, off their screens. Right. And then you're able to kind of pivot that in a, in a nice way for people to kind of see who you are. Just like we did here at Bold. Right. Able <laughs> right. to share another part of Robbie Jones. Man, of course. we appreciate you coming in. And we're really excited that, of course, American Dreamer is what brought you to New York. Yes. To, to do a press tour. We were talking earlier about how you, you know, you're getting chauffeured around and just tossed around to do press interviews and stuff. But really to come to New York all the way uh we appreciate your time yeah and we really thank you uh good luck yeah, thank you so much yeah. it's a pleasure good to be luck here. with the premieres the thank sack you. premiere i'm excited to see how that goes thank you everybody please follow robbie on social if you could toss out your instagram if you have a website any place where people can find more of robbie jones well i'm on instagram at robbie jones online and i'm on twitter at the robbie jones that's it. Yes. Thank you for coming and seeing us. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, pleasure. And uh, can I say go Hellcats? Maybe you not. Can what do was that. the thing? It wasn't punch this. It. This is more of like it was, a. It was punch it. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like Hellcats, punch it. And everybody would put their little fists in or whatever. Let's not go back there. Come please. on, one time. Can we, we can punch it. Hellcat, punch it. We can punch it. Boom. We can punch it out. Boom. We can punch That's it. That's it. Tell Ashley Tisdale we did that. <laughs> and send her to New York next, and we'll do a whole thing. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to mention, here's my shameless plug, plug, uh, it, plug tag it. at the end. Okay. When I was a cheerleader, this is when, about the time that I started watching Hellcats, when okay. it came out with the season one, and there was a point in time that I said, dang, I want to work in TV, mm -hmm. but I was also a cheerleader. Hellcats, bring it on, fire it up, those movies made sense to me. Sure. So, I want to propose this to you, and you get back to me whenever you get Ashley propose Tisdale it. and Allie. Propose it. Everybody on board. Let's build something in the future. And I want this video to be my standing proposal to you. Okay. A, a, to another show or another premiere of some kind. We can go one season. We can go one episode. Okay. Robbie, I'm All begging right. you. Okay. One episode where we bring back Hellcats. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, that's a big ask. I'll help produce and do everything with it. You the guys just bring all the skills. The craziest part is the they're trying to do a reboot. From what I've heard, see, I believe spoiler. that they are my proposal led to a spoiler. To do, it happened because of this interview. They're trying to do a reboot. That's it. No, no. <laughs> but <laughs> they probably no, already. I, I think they've been trying oh, to, to figure out a way to to make Hellcats happen again in some way because there's it, it's picked up fire. They started showing it on CW Seed, and people right. have really fallen in love with the show. Wanna Years later, and now they want to bring it. Well, we've done it with nine hundred two and zero. We've see? done it with uh, line. They remake everything nowadays. Bring back Hellcats. Hey. Hey, that's the, the ha uh, headline hashtag for this interview. Hashtag bring back Hellcats. Bring back Hellcats. That's it. Robbie, I'm thank 100 you. I'm 100% in. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.